And the Flitz paste, as you see it here, all these different products, is the core of the line. The paste actually comes in a cream product, very similar to over here, very creamy, just like hand cream. Now, what makes it unique, government standards is actually classified non-abrasive, but truly that's not a really true. Every product even has to have any abrasive to it. Flitz is actually like a 4,000 grit. It is a non-toxic product, something you can use on fiberglass, paint, plastics, all your metal finishes, etc. We also have a military spec number on our can, and that would be for aircraft. So you can use it in anything from something like a Learjet or Gulfstream and things. One of the demos I'd like to show you real quick is on a piece of aluminum. And what we have here is a piece of diamond plate. Now aluminum is a big issue. If it's a, tra if it's a trailer around the fenders and different things of like that, on your pontoons, of course, you're dealing with uh, aluminum diamond plate on different areas. And of course, you have also your stainless steel, aluminum bow rails and things. But simply apply the flitz directly to the finish. And I'm going to just use a little paper tissue here, a napkin. We use a Kleenex, actually. Just to give you an example, all the black oxide that this product can actually pull off. And once you do that, you can see the black residue. Just flip the paper toweling over and buff it. Now, if you're polishing by hand, especially in your bright work of your boat, like a prop, on stainless steel prop to get off the oxidation and things, always try to use paper toweling. Paper is just a tad bit abrasive and gives you that little scrubbing power that way. Also, one of the cool things about Flitz, this is a little water. And I'm going to do is put a couple droplets on here just to show you the protective coating. Flitz actually is guaranteed to last in a salt water environment for two months and fresh water for four. So it really gives a great protection on all the bright work on any kind of boat as well as plexiglass and fiberglass. Now, the Flitz polish can be used under many different things. And I mentioned before, plastics and paint. This is a piece of plexiglass right here. And what I want to show you is when you do plexiglass, one of the problems is oxidation from the sun. Now this is an abrasive pad, we call Merca pad, which is basically a 1000 grit pad. I'm going to take a little water and I'm actually going to wet sand this plastic. Now when you have really faded fiberglass, I'm talking really nasty, a lot of times taking a very light abrasive and wet sanding at first, getting off all the heavy oxidation is not a bad idea. Then afterwards you buff it out. But what I'm doing here is to show you, when you take an abrasive like this and you when we dry out the plastic, you'll see how dull it actually is. You can't see through it at all. Now, I did this of course purposely to damage the finish, but now I'm going to take a little flitz on it. And this flitz, as you can see, I mentioned before to you, is a 4,000 grit which in layman terms is super, 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 super fine abrasive. You put the polish on top of the plexiglass, normally you take a cloth or paper toweling and buff it out. But now since Flitz has developed the buffing balls, it makes it a lot easier for you. Now the buffing ball, I'll give you an example, is made of a felt material. And the shaft is built right into the tool, just like this here. Now when this shaft is built in here, this is actually designed to protect the shaft when you ever want to wash a buffer in a wash machine so it doesn't damage the wash machine itself. But this Velcro is also there to protect the shroud of the drill. And when you put these on, you can run these anywhere from, I would say, 2,000 to 3,000 RPM. Now what I'm going to try to show you with this buffer on this plastic, just as a real short example, take a very small amount of polish with slow speed so it doesn't spray all over. And give the power to it. And when you, by doing this, you'll see in a couple seconds how clear the plastic is again. Now this is especially good on isinglass, on plastic windows, anything from a convertible car to isinglass in a boat. Now when you have faded isinglass, you'd actually put the flitz directly on top, use the power buffer, and a lot of times we explain to folks to take the plastic isinglass, put it flat on a piece of carpeting, so that way you can put pressure on it when you're buffing it, which makes a lot more sense than in plastic windows. That'll remove the oxidation, the yellowing, and different things like that on plexiglass. Same thing on windshields, on a boat, especially in the pontoons where you have the sort of half windshield or any kind of plastic that's faded. Now, one of the other demonstrations we like to do when we're on a feel like this is a piece of stainless steel. And stainless steel is exactly what it is. Stainless, not stain proof. And I'm going to take a little flitz on here. And I'm going to take again the paper toweling, just a little napkin here from Kleenex, and you'll see all the oxidation that this will pull right off. And that's why when you're doing stainless steel hardware on the boat and you get off the black oxidation, flip it over, and you bring it out to a mirror finish. 
Now there's many manufacturers such as Cobalt, Crown Line, Grady White Boats is one of the oldest ones we have. We deal with um, Carver and different things like that. And what they do, they actually recommend flits in such a manner they put a free tube of flits in every boat they sell. Because as you know, when a boat's encapsulized in plastic, it creates moisture, which eventually equals the rust. Now I'm going to take again a dab of water on here, on this piece of stainless steel, and you can see how the water rolls right off. Once you do this, it gives you a fantastic job protection that way. And again, in salt water, this is good for two to three months. In fresh water, between four and five months. Thanks for listening to me here today at Flitz. If you have any questions, definitely give us a call.